approach a beleaguered looking man with tiny glasses. Out of there! Who's in charge of this outfit? If I'm terrible, I'd say the fellow over there in the white hat is the foreman. He points to the man next to a huge pile of rocks. And if you're not, then I'd say that paper-backed idiot over there in the absurd white hat is the fellow you're looking for. Alrighty, thanks. Ah, are you in charge? I was wondering if there's anything I can do to help. You wanna know something? I love trains. Oh? Ever since I was a little boy, huge, magnificent, roaring iron beasts. They were magical to me like dragons. When the opportunity arose to take on management of this rail line, I jumped on it like a shot. And you know what I learned? What's that? Organizing and building and running one of these operations is the most amazing pain in the ass you could ever imagine. You want to help? Congratulations, you're the new foreman. I'm going home to play with my models. Swell. I guess I'm the boss now? The man looks you up and down. Well now, I suppose you can't be any worse than that last clown. He extends his hand. Name's Smee. I'm your assistant. What's the situation? Well, I'm sure you didn't miss seeing this giant pile of rocks blocking our path. The surveyors say it isn't any other there isn't any other suitable mountain pass, so we can't reroute even if we had the months it'd take. Any ideas? Well, by my calculations, we could dynamite it clear without too much trouble. Problem is, it'll take a lot of dynamite. A whole year's worth, I figure. We used to keep that much on hand for emergencies such as this one, but a pack of goblins stole it all. Sneaky little varmints. Alright, I'll get it back for you. Glad to hear it. The goblins are holed up over in Gustafsson Gulch. It's a real rough place. You might want to spend some time getting the lay of the land and hone your fighting skills before you head that way. Especially if you plan to go in guns blazing. We don't need that specific dynamite though. Any you can lay on your hands would be fine. Any you can lay your hands on would be fine, so long as there's enough of it. I'll look into it. Let's go to Gustafsson Gulch. You round a corner in a box canyon, find yourself face to face with a pyrobo. You're boxed in. Attack it. Ah, oh, one of those guys. Hey! Poor Gary. Alright, first I'm gonna... Oh, I'm already... Full on buffs. Okay. A fancy dressed goblin sets forth. Hi, hello! Being a mayor! Welcome! Now, going away, please. What's up, Gary? It's okay. I will handle it this. Gary and the mayor converse for a bit, too quickly for you to follow what they're saying. What do you say? He is saying, okay, for giving dynamite boom. But you having to riddling first. Riddlin'? Yes, 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 a contest game. Okay, let's have an it. <clears throat> a crazy thing. Having no legs at morning, no legs afternoon, and also no legs having at night. What is that? Hey, Gary not helping. That would be cheating. Bad, bad. A man, a no-leg horse, an egg, or a snake. Crazy thing. No-leg horse? Nope, answer is no good. But it's so wrong being so wrong. Oh, dang it. Okay, well, I guess we can just... An egg. Okay, yes, an egg, an, a egg having no legs ever, correct. Well, except if hatching into something that legs having. But then is not egg anymore, so who caring? Okay, sure. Next riddle, you ready? Yep. 
More eating, lighter getting. Lighter getting, shorter living. What am I? Hmm. A fire. That's... the Riddler, but more interesting. Not an egg either. Um, okay, yes, I am a mayor. Correct. Hooray. Hooray. Okay, one more Riddling. Ready? Yep. Yeah. Okay, last riddle. Here is it. Metal thing with little teeth in a hole will turning round. Entrance to my horse is house is found. Where is it? In a hole is where my entrance to my house is found. Um in your vest pocket? No, did looking there already. some sort, and I don't know where to get the key. <gasps> oh, never mind. I have it here. Yay, you solving it. You winning riddle contest for sure. Hooray. Here, you can have, you can dynamite having. Don't eating it all at once. Take the dynamite and your leave. Well then, I guess uh, we just need to talk to Gary. Now we've got a whole year's supply of dynamite, and we can finally get on this damn train and head out west. <laughs> and look, finding a year's supply of dynamite. The passengers are getting restless. Yep, here you go. Good, perfect. This will do the trick just fine. Hang back a bit while I get the fellas to set up the charges, and I'll let you do the honors. Me consults with the other workers and they inspect the rocks for a time. Eventually, one of them shrugs, pushes a whole crate of dynamite up against the rocks, and wires up the detonator. Alright, let her rip! Uh, don't you have a longer detonator cable? Nope. Don't worry, you'll be fine. Just give me a three count before you hit the plunger so I have time to get under the train. Uh, why would you need the dynamite? Um. Goblins are weird. Alright, well. <gasps> Rock person. Let's do this. This is a. There's a very large and very angular looking thing guy standing here. Apparently, it's a little peeved at having a year supply of dynamite blown up next to its butt while it was sleeping. How are we going to handle this? Oh, you crack your knuckles, take a deep breath, and aim your strongest haymaker at the rock monster. Your punch blows open a fracture caused by the dynamite, and cascading fault lines crisscross the creature's surface with a roar of anger and pain explodes into fine gravel. All in a day's work. Well, now, this is a fine day's work as, as fine, day's, fine a day's work as I've ever seen. Much obliged, friend. We'll be getting the rest of this track laid down and head out now. Here, I'll mark your route, our route on your map for you in case our paths happen to cross again. Thanks, but can I just ride the train? Got a ticket? Ha, ha, I'm just kidding. Of course you don't ever see it on this train sold out. Sorry, boss. Sorry. Rude. Howdy, boss. Howdy, Smee. Stuck again? Yep, got ourselves one hell of a canyon to get across and no materials for bridge building. Any ideas? There's an old mine town up north called Breadwood. They opened a lumber camp after a few after the mines dried up. You could fix a deal with them for lumber for the lumber we need. I can handle the engineering side of things. Okay, where is it? Uh, Smee marks the location on your map. 
course, anything you can find to build a bridge out of is fine by me, but it seems like the simplest option. I'll see what I can do. Well, let's stop at the West Pole first. Over at the side of the road, you spot a lone and gloomy grave marker with a lone and gloomy man in a black robe digging up the grave with a shovel. Hey, what are you doing? The hooded figure looks at you, looks at the shovel, looks at the grave, and looks back at you. Do I really need to explain? I mean, why are you doing it? Well, it's for necromancy practice, right? I mean, you gotta get the bodies from somewhere. That's despicable! Shrug, this is the necromancer's territory now. Your moral outrage isn't really my concern. Did you just say shrug? Oh, we're gonna attack. Bone shards. We got a coccyx with a hole in it. 